you know, pool, the things with like swimming pools, mm-hmm. septic tanks, things like that. Those things should be serviced yearly by someone who professional. professional. So hopefully the sellers can give you a history of that because that's a good yeah, indication. Yeah, history. Yeah, for disclosures. Yeah, yeah, that may you know it's probably in a pretty good shape if they've had a contractor every year you know winterizing the pool and things yeah. like that. that makes um, sense. And it's pricey, so you just have to kind of keep that in mind. Yeah. What is like? Can you can you share stories? So it's like the uh. the craziest um, <laughs> experience you have in a home inspection. Just being fun, you know. Yeah. These are too serious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gosh. Um, you know, I. You know, DC has some very interesting houses, um, <laughs> some very great ones, but also some that are very old. Yes. Um, you know, we've uh, unfortunately, you know, been through houses where you can't even access anything because of the you know hoarding issues, things like that. Oh, yeah. And typically when that happens, there's, you know, rodents, oh, you know, yeah. things like yeah. that. I so, afraid lo- you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> so, I, you know, I've only had to physically walk away from inspection one time because it was, you know, real bad. But um, we were going through a house one time, and this guy was really into pirates. So the whole basement was covered in pirate stuff, like yeah. pirate ships. <laughs> the the, the cool. agent goes you know, just to open up the shower, she opens up the door, and there's a skeleton no. pirate just staring oh at her. Gosh. And you heard her scream from the other room because oh it scared God. her so bad. <laughs> but yeah, so it's um, good for Halloween, though. Right? They're ready. Halloween yeah, they were they were ready, and this was the middle of summer, so it wasn't you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh um, That's funny. But yeah, I mean, every house is different. I can tell you. I mean, some even new construction has problems, you know. But it's. Um, yeah, like, it's, wh- yeah. what is, like, what are the things to watch out for? Let's say for me, as an agent, I would like to, to take care of, to take care of, like, little things like, um, um, for example, if there's, like, if there's, like, uh, water issues in, mm-hmm. in the house and then the walls, mm-hmm. you know, like, you wouldn't see that, but then when you actually, um, when you do the moisture meter, you can see that mm-hmm. the walls have been flooded with water. Yeah. And you wouldn't even and know, you know, and then how do you cure that stuff, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because that stuff, you know, water is like the enemy of everything, pretty much, you know, when it comes to a house. <laughs> um, it's, um, you know, if you have a wet basement, typically that comes with mold, mildew, you know, and things like that. And that, the the rain, the pricing to repair that can range from 30000 30, to couple thousand you know there's such a big gap that um you just really don't know um the other big thing to look for is if you can actually see the the walls in the basement if the cracks are horizontal and the walls coming you know kind of bowing out a little bit Mm. that's a good indication you know there's there's a lot of water yeah yeah, or there's a lot of pressure Pressure from the outside that's causing it because we've seen that right Mm -hmm. we've seen some houses like that and i know like we we walked away in some houses yeah so you know we as professionals we like to make sure that we are another set of eyes because you know buyers fall in love with the house Mm -hmm. and they're so emotionally connected that would get attached to the house so we wanted to make sure that hey you know listen we have a home inspection and objectively i can tell you love the house but this is the cost of how much is going to be repaired. It could be repaired, or you can just walk away because you know it's going to be a money hit for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we as agents, we have to be more responsible like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we have An- Andy here to tell us, you know, if it's a big deal or not. I mean, yeah. we don't blow up everything, you know. Yeah, it's, it's great. the <laughs> reports are very extensive. <laughs> like they're very um, thorough, but you know, typically. It, I tr- you know, we try not to scare someone. We just <laughs> let them know, like, look, this this is normal. This happens in this style of house. This yeah. is what to look out for, you know, things like that. It's very informational. Um, you know, even um, during when people were bypassing home inspections, yeah. you know, I I did a lot of just informational yeah, home inspections. Yeah, yeah, which even that is better than not doing one because, you know, that's going to be focused more on the major issues, which, you know, y- you don't want to move into a house and have to spend thousands of dollars. Yeah, I remember things. this house had 20 offers mm-hmm. and it had a water problem. And I just couldn't I remember yeah. I was I was just couldn't I just couldn't know like why are they bidding on a house? Are they that desperate? And the house was even featured in a newspaper. Was that for like a featured, yeah. yeah and then, you know, and you I, I just couldn't fathom how that would work. Mm-hmm. I'm like I'm just so happy that we walked away from it. Yeah, and you know, it's not Every house has problems. I would say it's 
more it's pretty rare to really find major issues where you know yeah. the house is like doomed you know it yeah. definitely happens but you know most of the <laughs> most of the times it, it's 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 just normal wear and tear you know as things age they get older and start to break down and some things are more serious than others um, like with new first time buyers, when they see your report, they go, Oh my gosh, boy, yes. we have to <laughs> yes. talk about this. Reconsider yes. everything. So, Andy always does a good job of like, Let me talk you off the ledge. You know, this is not, you know, you know so yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I, you know, <laughs> I always. It's like, wow. They are. And, um, you know, I, even new construction, you know, you know has some. Especially reports. new construction. I know. There's some. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's true though, because there so, so there's some new construction where it's just not built the same, yeah. you know. It's not and built the same. I I would rather buy. A, I, anyway, that's just the opinion I have. Mm -hmm. Like I have some issues with some new construction. Mm -hmm. And um, I have I have seen some that are great, but I have also seen some that are. I'm like, you know, I almost, I will never tell someone, you know, you should not buy this house. You know, that's yeah. not what I'm there to do. I'm there to just yeah. give you the information. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some where it's. Um, you just dips. Sort of shortcuts, yeah, it's yeah. just the quality and shortcuts. Shortcuts. Mm -hmm. Contractors. You know, for a while, wooden stuff was so expensive. You know, they were taking shortcuts and mm -hmm. things like that. So, um, you know, dishwashers are leaking. You know, just little stuff like that that can obviously be fixed. But sometimes, just the craftsmanship, you know, yeah. was down a little bit. I remember. I think it was with John Blanchard at the time. Where, um, the, um, we had a home inspection and when the. The, the ceiling of that house was an issue, and they said um, um, we need to do something about the ceiling because the foundation wasn't really that good. Mm -hmm. So I told my client, hey, you know, we got to fix it. And they said, no, 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 I love the house, whatever. You know, we just move forward. When the day they move in, the ceiling fell. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my wow. God. But it was in the home inspection. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, um, of course, you can just advise your client what, they want to hear and they couldn't blame me because I disclosed everything. I yeah. said, hey, you know, like we have to do this and, and it, it's their, it's a risk that you have to take. Yep. So, you know, don't take it lightly, you know, just look at the home inspection and if there's smoke, there's always fire there, you know? Yep. So yep. I, is that right? Like where there's smoke, there's, where there's fire? Smoke. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a, I'm not sure, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but tell us like the funniest inspection you have. <sighs> Um, I'll say, I say, yeah, I don't really know if I have anything other than that. That's that's pretty up there. But like, like, um, um, yeah, I think that the the pirates are really yeah. funny already. Was there one that was like really great, and you were just like, wow, this is the best day ever? Yeah. Oh, is there a house that there's no issues? Because um, I had one. Like yeah, that. I have had, and actually, it was last week. I had two in the same week where I I told the people I was like, look, this is one of the cleanest home inspections. I've <laughs> <laughs> and which I like because it's less reporting for me, you know, but it's... Um, Ten pages only. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Um, but no, so it's, you know, I'm not, like I said, I'm not there just to pick it apart. If it's good, I'm going to also tell you it's good. You know, I'm not just there to say... How often does that happen? It, you know, believe it or not, it does happen more than you would think. Like, there are, you know, a lot of cool features in houses and things like that that, you know, you, you don't, a lot of times people won't realize until we do the home inspection because mm -hmm. we're there, you know sometimes over two hours just going through every room, every little yeah. nook and cranny, and yeah. sometimes there's things that pop up that they didn't even realize, you know, were there in the first place. Um, so, yeah, okay. So I, is, I have a question. What, mm -hmm. um, what would be your, what would made you not buy a house? I think that's a good question. Um, depending, anytime there's, if the whole basement is wet and there's mold, I would just, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even want to deal with the remediation of it because, uh, you know, they remediate it, things like that, but it's always going to, yeah. you know, there's just certain things that sometimes you just don't want to mess with. Mm -hmm. um, now, if it's only a single room where there's some mold, then okay. You know, like, you treat it and move on, but if it was, like, the whole basement. I or, had that. Yeah. I'll tell you a story about that. Yeah, yeah so it, it happened, you know, it more happened. than you not, and people a lot of times will be living in these houses for years and years and, and years. Know. Won't know, be breathing uh, it in. Yeah. You know, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. That is a big one. Um, any, again, any foundation issues. Or if, there ha if there has to be repairs for the foundation issues, that's typically not a cheap way oh to yeah. do it. Um, you know, because depending on the type of 
you know, foundation. It could involve lifting up the house. Yeah, they lift up the house and they put it back together. I had that too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They put these big, yeah. you know. Carpets all over the hill and then. Mm -hmm. And actually, you said I had one the other day up in um, almost near Bryce, Virginia, you know, way out down 81. Yeah. It was a mountain house and it was on the side of a hill and the whole house was falling down the mountain. And you just, and it was just an Airbnb house, but the second you walked in it, you could tell like, sinking yeah you're oh, sinking that's so scary. and they had someone do you know repairs but it wasn't anyone who was licensed it was just some yeah, like some structural engineer. yeah it was just some guy that they knew and so who knows if they did the work right oh. you know things like that that's why um you know in the this remind me in the reports it also will tell you, you know if you need to gather permits you know i know christina you guys are really good about that but that's also real important if there's been renovations or you know anything like that that's always yeah. You know, the more information you can get on the house you're about to buy is always yeah. But sometimes, be like, you set on a house and then um, there are permits that are still pending in the county that they didn't get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not even cleared yet. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, oh, this renovation is so good, but it doesn't show in the public record that there's renovation done. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. like a sort of red flag that you have to come back and get a, get a retro approval, which I, we did actually mm -hmm. a couple of times, but yeah. it happens. But th yeah, those are probably the two biggest things. I mean, everything else, you know, can be fixed pretty much for a price. You know, it's um, it's just really those tend to cost more to repair. Um, so Andy, tell them how to get in touch with you. Yeah. So if you ever need to get in touch with me, um, I have a website. It's hfadvantage.net. Um, Christina can always get in touch with me. You know, we've known each other for a long time. So I'm um, like, she's been there since the beginning. So, you know, she's, um, you know, I love working with her. She's awesome. So, you know, every time I see her number pop up, it's always a good thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's the website's pretty much the best way. My number's on there. My email's on there. Um, you know, if you have any questions really about anything, you know, feel free to, you know, reach out. Yeah. And if, if you have, if you're thinking about buying a house, now you have these tips that we have, mm -hmm. what to watch out for. So even if we're looking at the house, when you sell, smell something really bad mm -hmm. in the basement, then, you know, at least that's like a sort of like a warning sign, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. You see, everything can be fixed with money. I mean, I, we've been through <laughs> we've been through stuff we're in. There's a house that they really love. We had to, re to put up the house, fix the structure, put down the house. You know, there are companies that does that. Mm -hmm. you know, for 50, 75 mm -hmm. grand, they do that. You know, it depends on how much you love the house, but foundation I think is very important. But for me, the water, the mm -hmm. flooding yeah. in the basement, yeah. the mold, yeah. you know, it's it just ruins the whole house. Mm -hmm. But it can be remediated if you really love it. So it's really if up you to you, time. you know. Yeah. Yeah. If you have time and money. patience. And money. Exactly. Money. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, that, that's that's a, that's a great summary, and I'm I'm glad that now we are in the market that um, we can have. You can have heavens both yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah, that's you know, a... So, so, you know, if you're a buyer out there, um, you're looking to, to, to purchase a home in this next year, um, don't skip out on your home inspections. Yes. They are very, very important. Um, yeah. And, you know, working with Andy, working with your trusted advisors and professionals, um, we can really tell you, like, what is going to, you know, what are you getting in for when you purchase this house? Um, and what kind of costs that you're going to be taking on, you know, with the purchase of this home. Um, so again, thank you, Andy, for joining us today. Thank you, thank you guys. Um, thank you, Andy. And um, you know, if, if, if you want to get in touch with um, him, please reach out to him on his so on his social media on his web on his website. We'll be including that also in the captions. Um, but until then, please um, join us on our next episode. Um, <laughs>